Welcome back to Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. Okay, so I took a break in between this episode and the last. And seeing as how these guys won't let me actually go through the boss fog, just kill that guy for whatever reason. He just sits there and will not leave. Okay, so had myself a good hot cup of tea, cleared my mind. Now, let's get in here. First thing I want to do is get to the second opening and cast a yearn right there and just get these skeletons to piss off for a second to hand my weapon oh my god why do you why do you block my path get in here kill this bitch now we'll wait we'll go this way get some stamina back there's the archer cast another urine that's okay get a heal in skellies are gonna go for that we'll wait we'll actually throw another one out all right then we'll get our sword out two hand it and we'll deal with this other stupid necro Perfect. Let you go by. Close the gate on him. Swip, swatch, swap to our heavy soul arrows. Oh my god. Are you guys honestly not dead? The hell. I don't know how all of these skeletons manage to survive. Yeah, they all have like... A bee's dick of health left. We're gonna have to take these guys out in order to fight the boss. Gotta watch out for his charge attack. Let's use a life gem. Swap over. And not target him. You can use these little outcroppings to help block that spell. Let's get rid of you. Okay. And now we pretty much just have to watch out for his spells and pew pew him to death you can also cheese the boss and sit in the the outcove and just sit there and keep casting on him but i mean he's he's not that hard honestly you just have to watch out for his charge attack don't get behind him and get kicked I could see this fight being a little more difficult as a melee class. It's really hard to tell where the hitboxes ah, are on those spells that he casts. They're a little hard to see. There we go. Come back out. Hit him a couple more times. Rinse and repeat. Watch out. Okay. Thought he was going for the charge attack. Watch out for the stomp. Ugh, man. I'm so used to the roll timing on Dark Souls 1 and 3. It's just so clunky in 2. Okay, let's back up to the next little outcove here wherever it may be here's one pop another life gem you're going down buddy not dealing with this again so i had a couple more attempts on this guy and additionally a couple more deaths on the stupid bridge with the uh one guys but i just went ahead and deleted that recording because it was just me dying over and over again to stupid things, like I was saying. Okay, so now he is finally dead. That was only the fourth attempt, or fourth time I made it in here. Fading soul. I'm pretty sure all the items in the middle of this are all garbage. But we'll run around and check. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! 
Why? Why am I such an idiot? I turned my camera back around just in time to see to fall to my intimate imminent doom. <sighs> well, I tried to get to spare you guys the run back, but now that I've actually defeated the boss, I can't delete the recording. So let's go on back. We'll take our gravity death and we'll get over it. I knew that that hole was there too. I just didn't know it was right there. I've gotten pretty good at dodging those guys since I ran back through here like 20 times. I'm willing to bet these guys will follow me into the boss area, so we're just going to go here. Yeah, get out of here. Piss off, you wankers. Go. Get. Okay. Yeah, they're all the way back there now. Jump across. Let's get our souls back. I don't think there's anything else in here really so we might just um where's the door was it honestly this far back no fading soul fading soul there it is okay let's see what this is up here the other side of the pit. Oh, soul of a brave warrior. Okay, that's that one's actually worth grabbing. Okay. We'll head up here, and I think there's a bonfire here. No, that's right. Oh wait, yeah, there is. But this dude's basically a covenant bro. He won't talk to me though. Basically, I think you have to invade somebody's world, kill them, and then he'll talk to you. You can join whichever covenant that is. Okay. Let's pop all these. Get that intellect up to 25. Okay. Um. Two minutes. How far off am I from? Oh, it's probably three or four levels. Take that intellect. Um, let's get a bit more endurance. Let's get that up to 15. Get some more stamina. Okay. Let's go over here and check. No ladder bros, not here. Fair enough. So in that case, um, we need to head. Was this the closest one? I think it was. We'll head over to the um, Harvest Valley entrance where we lowered that bridge. So we just have to run back through here. Don't you block my way. Oh my god. Come. This is like I got stuck to him like a magnet.
head in this way, butts to left, and then right, and then we'll go across the bridge. There's still some more things that I need to go around and collect in this area. Didn't I lower this? Why is it back up? I could have swore I lowered that. A skeleton's following me? Doesn't look like it. All right. Also, how much? 11? Okay. So this next area is pretty much Poisonville. Everything here wants to poison you. There are big bad enemies. But there's also a lot of goodies. Yeah, this is Harvest Valley. Which leads into Earthen Peak. Okay, there's a bonfire right there. Yep, okay. So yeah, you pretty much have to roll your way through a poison swamp just to get out into the area from the bonfire. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Not gonna lie. Additionally, we can take off urine and put our um no not you we'll put these back on okay and here is the rock lady are you a traveler i'm cloanne an ore stone trader i travel about collecting rare stones which i sell to make my living I never planned to visit this God's forsaken place. But I don't know. I just sort of ended up here. I must have just wandered in. <laughs> but now that I'm here, I've been scouting around for rare bits. Ah, oh, don't look at me. Ah, oh, I've... No interest. Hold on. So... Even if you roll before you get poisoned through that swamp or roll through the swamp, maybe it's because I rolled, I got poisoned. So she sells bonfire aesthetic one, titanite shards. Dead again. That's actually pretty good hex. Soul appease miracle. What does this even do? Ah, okay. No interest. Well, not yet, honey. Not yet. This poor skeleton's still trying to get something out of that wall. He's been there for ages. And here we are. Okay. So, as you can see, everything's poison. This is like the poison zone. Let's take care of these little dickheads down here. With their weird, clunky... 10 FPS movement. Stop it. There we go. As you can see, there's a lot of goodies trying to goat you into the, or goad you into the poison. This dude also shoots big old dark orbs. As you can see, they do a lot of damage. I was too late on the roll. Oh my god, he's still alive. I've been having this issue where, like, I cast a couple spells and the enemies just have the smallest amount of health left. Get out of here, Skelly. You're not welcomed. Drop down here. You come alive? No. Bleed stone? Nice. Can use that to make a lacerating weapon. Fading soul, titanite shard. Titanite shard. Titanite shard. What I should do is just put. We can take those off. I don't want to use all those up. We'll put our moss on. We're going to get poison here. It's just inevitable. So while I'm poisoned, I'm going to go around. Collect all of these goodies. Fading soul, twi uh, titanite shard, another fading soul. Smooth and silky stone, and I think that was a soul item. Please heal. All 
Are you serious, skeleton? You parried me? All right, well, you know what I got to say to that? Screw you. Get cheesed. Torch. God, this poison does a lot of damage. I might actually have to surf through my gear and find some poison resistance stuff, because my god. I obviously don't have a whole lot. There's a Titanite chunk. Nice. Stop it. Come on, heal. Get it in. There we go. Trying to time that right. Die. Yeah, my god, this poison. Couple fading souls, titanite shard. Okay. And we're gonna have to go back to the bonfire already. Ah, oh, there's another item down there. Oh, I want it. I'm gonna have to do some soul farming. Get myself some more. Ooh, it's a chunk too. Hell yeah. Oh, come on. No, no. Ah, oh, damn it. Get myself some more moss. Get myself some more life gems. Okay. Ooh, you know what? Isn't. Forlorn again? What is with this guy? I thought Gavland was right there, but he must be in a later area. Skelly, get the hell out of here. You're not wanted right now. I guess we are going to have to put these life gems back on our bar. I want this guy out of here. I don't want to be dealing with you. While I'm in the poison swamp. Nope, no, roll. Come on, please. Nope. Too early. Ugh. I think he's gonna swing, but then he just does that crap. It's like the shield break move. Come on. Too late. God, I am just having a hell of a time. Too late or too early. Why, why am I attacking the rock when I'm facing towards him? I don't, like, jeez. You know what? I'm sick of you. Get the hell out of here, forlorn. You're not wanted. Roll. Thank you. Yeah, my spells just don't do anything to this guy. That's it, you're you're done, bro. You are done. Welcome to Stagger Souls. Ugh. God. Okay. Let's go back up. Hit the bonfire. What did I get from him? A chunk? I wasn't even looking. Um, do I have anything to cure? No. Poison? No, I don't. Ugh. Okay, what do we have in terms of gear? This one's 30. Okay, that's our highest poison on the chest pieces.
23 on those. Okay, we're looking a little bit better now. So pretty much this poison stays on you and keeps poisoning you for a short period of time. There we go. Does it actually work its way all the way up and like, no, okay, it's going down. So basically don't roll through those spots of poison swamp. Okay, so I see an item back here. I'm gonna run for it, get in here. I know this skeleton gets up, deal with you real quick. Fragrant branch and a torch. Nice. Hey, Gavlan is over here. Ah, very good. Raw stone. You know what, actually? What do I have to sell to you? sell all the duplicate items I don't want to sell any of the weapons just in case I want to respec no no yeah that's that's pretty much it we'll buy three more clumps from you the poise ring really don't need that Okay. Now let's rush back out of here. Go up this way. Thought I saw a chest on the left side down there. Oh, that's just Gablan. I was wondering what was making that noise. I took some Sudafed for my nose and my allergies a while ago, but it's not really helping. You gotta be really careful around these witches. They do a lot of damage with that fire. But luckily you can just kind of snipe them from a distance. Um, out. Really? Too far away? There we go. You're dead now. What do we got up here? Hexing urns. Nice. Don't trust that guy. I don't trust this guy either. Two more up here. You're dead. You're dead. Let's go back down. Wilted Dusk Herb, and we'll open the gate here. Or I guess maybe this is more of like a sluice. Where are you guys coming from? Get out of here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do some soul farming. And I need to look up the next sorcerer catalyst. Dragon charm. Awesome. <laughs> this dude's all weirded out sitting there. That's funny. Same with that one. Perfect, a bonfire. Yeah, because it's we're getting to the point where it's a little bit more difficult. All right, let's go to things betwixt because we've got quite a few smooth and silky stones. We'll pay a visit to the pump rum birds. Man, maybe I have a cold. 
It's my nose is just going crazy. Got a bit of a headache too. All right. Pumperum birds are up here. There's also an item there I missed. Okay, go up to the nest. Tight night chunk, nice. Hell yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, why? Leave it, don't use it. Tight night slab. Did I really just bone myself on another ugh, tight night chunk? Do I have anything else? Prism stones? No. Okay. Uh, let's drop down and get the... What are you? Ah, uh, okay. Just a soul item. Go back down. Get the bonfire. And we'll travel to... Um... I do need to buy that cat's ring. I gotta say, the Earthen Peak and the Grotto are probably my two least favorite zones in this game because of all the poison. right it's super expensive um we will re need that later i will buy this though satisfied i'll be around if you yes yes okay Do we have any other we could wear that ring and then instead of this one We could put on Ooh. Um We'll put on the ring of the evil eye. Yeah. That should help out. Let's use all of these. I'm not gonna have enough for a level up, but I definitely need some more life gems. 14, sounds good to me. Uh, we don't need that. Okay. Take you guys off. Put the regular ones back on. I don't know why I took the moss off. All right, let's go back to Harvest Valley, or the mines, I guess is what this bonfire is called. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to be here, or if there's another zone I was supposed to go for first. Anyways, uh, this is where I'm going to wrap this one up here. Make sure to stay tuned in for more Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. And as always, if you find yourself enjoying the content, leave a like and consider subscribing. Have a great day, all you beautiful people out there.